Hey y'all, I have a haul today. I went shopping this afternoon. There's Rosie. Say hi, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. And there's Pepper. That is my mom's dog, the little fluffy boy. I had to bring him to the groomers today. So I stopped by um, a local liquidation store and I found some very interesting stuff. So, you know, don't just use thrift stores, y'all. Sometimes some of these liquidation stores can be really good also. So let's get into it. First up is something I paid up for, but I really, really like them. And they were $15. There's the price tag, $15. These are polo. Obviously leather boots. Polo Brockton leather boots. And while I was in the store, I don't remember, I don't know if these are men's or women's, but I mean, this was kind of a no-brainer. They're really cool. I mean, I just thought that that was a very cool pair of shoes. And being that they're at a liquidation store, it means that they are probably a newer model of shoe, if I had to guess. I did look up comps while I was in the store, and I saw one for 65 and then saw a couple for sale. It was kind of, like I said, a no-brainer. Just, you know, you grab something like this when you see it. If that was at a regular thrift store, I would have bought it also. And now next up is something that I have sold many, many of. I have a lot of experience with them. It is shapewear. I got, there was a lot of different brands, but I only picked up the Maiden Form shapewear. And the Spanx shapewear because they were three dollars a piece, and I only got see how they're the full body ones. I only bought the ones that were full body because these will sell, and these are new without tags. Um, these will sell, I know, between twenty and twenty-five dollars. So I know, and I know that I can list these very, very quickly. I'll just show you the other ones I got real quick. Um, made in form also. See, that's the same exact one. So that's going to be super fast to list. And if I had to guess, I probably have several of the same exact ones. Um, I didn't go looking to see if I did. Another made in form, same one. Um, here's the Assets by Spanx. Assets by Spanx is just from a Target, but they still sell really well and they sell for good, good value. But notice this is all the long full body ones. The long full body ones do better than any of the other shapewear. So knowing that, and I know that from experience, knowing that, this one's an assets, that's what I picked up. They had a lot of the little underwear ones and the little thigh shaper type ones and stuff like that. I didn't pick those up. Now, if they would have been a dollar, I probably would have picked them up just because, like I said, super fast to take pictures of and list. This is going to get monotonous. <laughs> oh, there's one. I didn't mean to get that one. Oh, well. It happens. That was made in form. And I did check for, like, stains and stuff like that. I think there's some of them in here that have a couple little marks on them, which will be noted. But most of them do not. So, where's this one? That's another asset. It's a Spanx one. Full body, once again. We're getting into that season where these are going to start selling really well because we do have Christmas parties and office parties coming up. So people are going to be wearing their nice dresses. We have um, Halloween where girls want to look really skinny in their little skimpy Halloween outfits. So this type of stuff really does sell very well during the holidays. And like I said before, $3 a piece. Can't beat that. Um... And I didn't pick up the briefs or anything like that. If they were new with tags, I probably would have $3 since they are new without tag. He's in teddy bear mode. That's, that's what I call that. He turns into a teddy bear and goes to sleep. He's such a cutie. Sorry, he's very distracting. So cute. <laughs> like I said, they were, they were new with tags. <clears throat> I would have picked up the other ones too, but they're not. So I'm not going to bother with that because I know that those only sell for 
probably $15 to $18. Now, if they go down to, to $1 a piece, I might consider going back and picking some of them up. Probably won't, actually. Okay, now into the really interesting stuff. What I think is really interesting. Let's see. Nope, that's clothes. That's not the interesting stuff. Clothes are not interesting. Oh, in total, I bought 34 items from this store. And they were $3.70 each. That's including the tax. So even the polo shoes, even though I paid $15 for them, in total, my average cost was $3.70. Okay. This store is weird. They get the most random items in. I've seen some crazy stuff in there. I've seen stuff that is worth thousands of dollars in there that I, I picked up Alexander Wang pants from there recently and I sold them for $85 in the same day that I listed them. There's no rhyme or reason as to what they get and when they get it. Now, 90% of the store is Target stuff. So you have to get very good at perusing the store and finding the stuff that is not Target because the vast majority of Target stuff is not worth much. So I'm perusing the store I see this yellow box sitting on top. Of, they have bins. Kind of like the bin store. Um, big wooden, huge bins full of stuff. And I see an Invicta box. And I walked over to it, and it was empty. So I was like, oh, well, I'm going to start digging here. Let's see what else is in it. Most of it was just like Claire's and like, like the goody hair stuff. And didn't look very interesting on the surface until I started digging. And I saw an Oakley eyeglass case. I'm like, what? So I start digging, and it's, it's worn. There's nothing special there. I'm not selling the case. I'm selling the glasses on the inside. These are Oakleys, obviously. And they're not sunglasses. They're just Oakley glasses. But they are quite new, obviously. So why are they worn, though? What, what's, what's going on here? So from what I could surmise from looking at everything that was in this bin is that this was from the back of a store. Um, it looked like they had Maker's Mark there. Is it Maker's Mark? Is that the brand? It's at, like, Costco or Sam's or something. I'm pretty sure that's, that's it. So I'm thinking it was one of those... Places like the little eyeglass places in the, the optometry booths that are in regular stores like Walmart and stuff. That's what I'm thinking it was. But this place was old. It was like really old because there was glasses in there at least from the 80s. Maybe the 70s. And some of them had like tags on them that would say um, didn't fit. So it was returns. These probably aren't returns. I don't know. I'm totally confused by by what this is and where it came from. Like these have no wear on them whatsoever. These look brand new. I don't know if these were displays at the store, maybe, I don't know, no idea. And then, then the store's back room got cleaned out. I don't know. Anyway, there's an Oakley pair of glasses. <laughs> there's a lot of glasses. I dug and I dug and I dug. And a lot of these are not going to have the original box with it. But so I was just picking them up based on the glasses. But here's a pair of Gucci's. You can see it still has the tags. They're dirty. Every, all of this needs to be cleaned. So this is Gucci. It does not have the original box. I was grabbing boxes and throwing them to the side and putting them in a pile and just trying to keep nice boxes so that at least whenever I ship these, it's protected and I don't have to worry about the glass is getting messed up. Some of them do have their original cases. Here's another pair of Oakleys. I found a lot of Oakleys. Um, these have the little, little bag with them, but nothing else. doesn't have the paper or anything. It's just, who knows? I have no idea what's going on here. Are these Oakleys? Or did I get, let's see. I was just throwing stuff in boxes. What are these? I need glasses to read these. My goodness. Uh, Rhino Chaser? Rhino Chaser. Okay. Oh, they are. <laughs> That's the model. There's the O. 
<laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if I got a couple pairs in here that aren't what I thought they were because it was kind of it was a lot it was a lot of stuff it wasn't just the glasses I wish that's all it that would have been there but there was a lot of other stuff with all of this um here's another oakley case let's see if there's some oakley's in it uh yeah these are oakley's 10 cup oakley's and thank you oakley for putting you see where it says 10 cup thank you for that because those will make that easier to find I, what it is what is this it's like a surprise in the box every time oh ray-ban found a lot of ray-bans too these are filthy these are actually sunglasses though which is good Filthy, filthy, filthy. This is at a liquidation store. I would have never thought I would walk in this day and find this. And I went to a second one. You'll see how little I found at that one. There's just no telling. And I've walked out of that other one before and had great things. So who knows? Another pair of Ray-Bans. These look like they are magnified. Yeah, they are. They're magnified. These are definitely magnified. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> my plan is is to sell these as frames you can sell glasses online as frames another is a ray-ban box and i don't think these are ray-bans oh yeah they are they're ray-bans ray-ban glasses so these will be sold as frames i have a lot of cleaning to do these things are filthy and more Ray-Bans. The Ray-Ban case. I had such a pile of cases. I kept finding the Ray-Ban cases and then I would open them up and there would be something else. Okay. And at this store, they don't care if you, you know, match your stuff up and get it right. These are cute. I like those. Hope those do well. Does Ray-Ban have the name on it? Oh, and this has the original price tag on it. That's good. I mean... Technically, these are new tags. I think some of them are kind of bent up. That'll be interesting. And that's part of shopping at liquidation stores, much like it is a part of shopping at um, the bins and stuff like that. I mean, sometimes you have to do some work. I just noticed the little dog in the corner there. He's so cute. <laughs> He's so funny. This one has a tag on it, too. Ray-Ban. But not the Ray-Ban box. Here's some O'Neill's. These are sunglasses. I don't know how much these will be worth, but I thought they were cute. So I just went ahead and grabbed them. I don't know if O'Neill will sell well or not. I don't feel like that's going to be an expensive brand. So these are Ray Bans also, but not the Ray Ban box. These are an Oakley box with the, some Ray Bans inside. So that one I will just have just the glasses in the listing. And then I will actually ship them in the Oakley box, just so, like I said. So they're protected. Here's an Oakley box. Do we have Oakleys? Yes, we have Oakleys. Good. Okay. I'm almost done with this. I didn't get a lot today, but what I got was good. There is something in the, mid, in the Invicta box also. Another pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. I wonder if these are... Oh, yeah. Definitely. Wow. Okay. So I think all the sunglasses are not regular sunglasses. So I'll probably have to advertise those as frames too. And this is a woman's Oakley <laughs> case. Like I said, I was just trying to get stuff to protect them. Another Oakley. These are definitely Oakleys. I remember picking these up. All right. Almost done with this. There is other stuff besides Oakley and Ray-Ban in here. Promise. See? Told you. There's Coach. Pair of coaches. I think the best pair I got today, obviously, is the Gucci's. That was the one I was most impressed with. Three more. Um, plan on going back tomorrow. Seeing if maybe they have. Oh, these are terrible looking. These are rough. This Ray Ban, but they are pretty rough. They are probably old. You know what? Maybe they're old and really popular. Oh, my hair's all going crazy from putting glasses on. Maybe they're old and popular, you know. Ray Bans definitely have a following, and people definitely, probably, definitely, probably 
I don't really know. Definitely, probably. Look for them. These are Charmant. I actually found the box and looked that brand up on eBay and saw that it was a good brand. So I was looking for some glasses to put in the box. And I did find some. So there's some Charmants. And that's the name of the game whenever you're shopping at places like that. Oh, two more. Some kids Ray-Bans. thought those were cute. I won't get a lot for those. Didn't care. They're cute. And then, oh, another pair that's probably really expensive. But they have some condition issues. And it's just a Saks Fifth Avenue box. But it's Tom Ford. So I definitely picked those up. Now, these are the only ones that were, like, seriously messed up. So I don't know what I'm going to do on that one. That's kind of out there for me. They are Tom Ford Snowdens. It looks like they all have, um, oh, these are normal sunglasses. These don't have any magnification whatsoever. Maybe I'll just keep them. They're pretty cute. We'll see. I don't know if they are, if the, um, ones ray-bans if the ray-bans had style on them but the oakley's it looks like it does tom ford's did i guess we'll find out i'm gonna be cleaning some glasses okay that's all the glasses got some hair thingies i, I have a problem I, I pick things up for myself when i'm at these stores because you know you're finding good stuff that you like you know that work that happens all right, the Invicta. So I go back over to the bin. This was in a bin next to the box that I saw that was screaming at me because it was so bright yellow and it's filthy. It needs a good cleaning. So I start digging in that bin. Maybe there'll be some glasses in there. Nope, but there were watches. And I found the watch. I found it. These do pretty good. Um, I haven't looked up this exact watch yet. Probably has scratches on it if I had. Yes, it does. Doesn't surprise me from a place like this. And the second hand is moving, so that's a good sign. I'll test it and make sure it works for real. But it has like the little stuff in it. It doesn't have the little round thing that holds the watch up, but it does have like the instructions and stuff like that, which is great. Happy about that one. Invicta's not a terribly expensive brand, but it's expensive enough that it does well, and it's popular enough that it does well on the resale market. And then I have just a Casio. I almost put this down, but it was cute. Casio, I didn't look it up. Um, might have been a mistake picking that one up, but whatever. It's cute, and it works, more importantly. And then this one I was not going to get because it is broke, as you can see. But then I looked it up and I saw that the Seiko Chroma, Chromograph, Chromograph, people that sell watches are probably screaming right now. I don't sell watches, so I have sold watches before, but it's not like it's something that I don't even wear watches. I barely look at my phone for the time. So... You're asking the wrong person when it comes to watches. But anyway, I looked it up and it did really well. So, you know, somebody will get a good deal. And I, do I see the second hand moving? Hmm. Are you moving? Can't tell. So, who knows? That one might be just for parts. It happens sometimes. I did look up some averages on the glasses because I was curious as to what glass frames go for because that's how i'm going to sell them and i'm going to sell them as used because you know they've been sitting in bins and stuff so it's a, it's a mess but the one year average for ray-bans for used glass frames is 29.94 the 90 day used is 32 dollars and 98 cents and the sell through is horrible 1.46 percent that's not great and then Oakley's, the one year is 43.43. So glad I got more Oakley's than Ray-Bans. Would have thought Ray-Ban would be better. 
Maybe because there's just so many of them out there. I don't know. Rubian's pretty popular. But the Oakley is $43.43 used for one year, and then the 90-day was $40.52. Those are terrible on that one, too. $2.23. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe people who list glasses aren't that good at it. I don't know. We'll find out. Gotta try things to find out if it's any good. You know what? Shapewear sell-through isn't great either. And if you look at some of those prices, they're not that great. But I know my market. And I think I'll do good on that. Because I've sold plenty of shapewear in the past. And it's done very well. So who knows? We'll see. After going to that store and hitting pay dirt, I said, well, I'm going to go to the other one too because there's another one in the, my area. And I decided I would go check it out. And I will be going back to the first one tomorrow because a lot of times when they put stuff out, like the boots, those leather boots, that was the only nice pair I saw for that price. So I'm thinking maybe they haven't put out everything. And those were just sitting on top of a box. They weren't with the other shoes. So I'm thinking it was like a big wrapped box that was going to be opened. So maybe they haven't put that stuff out yet. Maybe they had just started rolling it out. That's what I'm hoping. The place is right down the road from my post office. I've made a ton of sales today so far. So I know I'm going to have to go to the post office anyway. So I don't have a problem running over there. And I never made it to my thrift stores today because of all this stuff. And because little pretty fancy plucky boy's appointment was done. So he was done getting pretty. There. Oh, it's so cute. All right. So anyway, I went to the other one in another town that's 30 minutes away. And that one had Madewell stuff. I only found one Madewell thing. But it was down to $2, which was nice. And I didn't really find much of anything there, unfortunately. So here's the Madewell top that I got. It's new with tags that I got for $2. Just, you know, nothing to get excited about. It's just Madewell. And let's see. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> it's a Knox Rose shirt. I don't normally wear Knox Rose, but this was really soft. And I like the floral pattern on it. So that's mine. And... So these stores, a while back, I guess probably three or four months ago, had thread up liquidation. I told you it's totally random. It's had a sale. Nice. Um, totally random, much like my videos, that they had thread up liquidation. And as I was just going through the racks, looking around, seeing what I could find, I found a Porter and Ash wool sweater. And they sell for like 50 bucks. So, heck yeah. It was five dollars. Take ten percent off of that because I had a ten percent coupon too, which is nice. Um, and then oh, they had a rack of Macy stuff, and they had it like marked up a lot for like twenty five dollars, and then fifty percent off of that, so seventeen fifty. And it wasn't even good stuff. And there's a couple little things here and there that I would have bought if it wasn't that much. Maybe if it would have been like seven dollars, I would have bought it. But randomly, found a Pendleton sweater, new with tags, and they only had him marked up, marked to 15. So half off of 15, $7.50 for a spanking new, new with tags, Pendleton Southwest sweater. So happy about finding that. It is an extra small. Don't you know, I went through that whole rack looking for another one. This was the only one. So sad. And I had 10% off of that too. So that's pretty good. It's just cotton. Yeah. Love that one. And this is going to be a recent one. This is probably from last winter. That's how this liquidation stores work is that you actually get the newer type stuff. And then this I found in that rack, but it didn't have a tag. So I didn't know if it was going to be 25 or 15 or what. And some of the codes they had at 50, which is crazy. So it would have cost 25 at the counter. But there was this Lauren, Ralph Lauren jacket that was linen. It's nothing special. It's cute. It's a little blazer. But it's not something I would go crazy over or anything like that. But it didn't have a tag. And the ladies at this store know me. A lot of people, if you bring stuff up without a tag, 
they won't let you get it. They just tell you nope and then put new tags on it. But I do it and they let me do it. <laughs> and she gave me this for $2. She gave it to me for the same price as the Madewell shirt. So I'm really happy about that for $2. And actually it ends up being $1.80 because I had 10% off. $1.90? $1.80. <laughs> Alright, that's it. It's a mini haul. It's a small haul. Um, I'm going to go back tomorrow though. I'm going to see if they dump some more of those glasses out. Maybe some of those watches. I'm going to take some of those boots too. I'll pay $15 for those boots they're selling at $65. That's all right. That's it, y'all. Come back tomorrow and I will have a what sold video for you like I do every single work day. And give me a like if you like my videos. Give me a subscribe if you want to be notified. Hit that little notification bell. And that's about it. Y'all have a great day. Get to listing. Clean some stuff. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean some glasses. Can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Bye.